हेलो डॉक्टर्स दिस इज योर मेंटर डॉक्टर नितिन इफ यू आर ऑप्थलमोलॉजिस्ट दिस इज स्पेशल एपिसोड फॉर यू बट रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ दैट इवन इफ यू आर एनी क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिशनर मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर दिस वीडियो विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू फॉर ग्रोइंग योर क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस एंड योर हेल्थ केयर बिजनेस सो रिसेंटली आई विजिटेड वन ऑप्थलमोलॉजी क्लिनिक सो रादर इट्स ऑप्थलमोलॉजी सेंटर इट वॉज अ बिग सेटअप so let me share my some of the observations which can definitely help you to grow your clinical practice so in that ophthalmology clinic that was a clinic and it was also having uh, another uh, setup a physical setup just beside the clinic as a optometry center or basically uh, a spectacle shop or a spectacle gallery you can say that ओके सो एज अ ऑप्थलमोलॉजिस्ट ही लाइक ही वॉज दैट सेम ऑप्थलमोलॉजिस्ट वॉज ओनर ऑफ दैट विजन सेंटर और मे बी दैट ऑप्टोमेट्री सेंटर ओके एंड ऑल्सो ही वॉज ऑल्सो ओनर ऑफ वन डायग्नोस्टिक लैब सो यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग हाउ ऑप्थलमोलॉजिस्ट कैन ओन a optometry center and also a diagnostic center so my dear friends that's the beauty of knowledge and the power of understanding so if you also want to build similar kind of setup for your clinical practice please stay with me for two more minutes so as a clinical practitioner you might be thinking that how it is possible yes it, it is not possible as a sole clinical practitioner because most of the clinical practitioner they practice uh, at an individual level as a doctor their clinical practice is dependent on on their own skills and their own efforts irrespective of that even the legal structure also is also designed in a way that they cannot do anything more than their own clinical practice so to create this kind of corporate structure as i mentioned in the start of this video having the optometry center and uh, diagnostic lab and the own clinical practice for the ophthalmology you need to have a kind of corporate structure or a legal entity which supports this kind of uh, uh, organization so for this for legal perspective you need to get in touch with with your legal uh, advisor or any ca or cs for the legal formalities related to this but if you want more about uh, business plan uh, marketing strategy for this kind of structure you can get in touch with me but for now let me elaborate how it is possible for you also so in this scenario in this particular scenario where i mentioned about this ophthalmology center he was able to create this kind of structure because he had simply made one change in the legal entity from the proprietorship to a, a more of a private limited company and with this kind of private limited company you can create this kind of structure within your uh, clinical practice so with this you can convert your simple clinical practice from individual practitioner into a corporate structure where you can be owner of that uh, uh, optometry center and you can have a staff under you you can have a diagnostic center where you can appoint some uh, what you call pathologist or you can associate it or partner with some pathologist Uh, or maybe you can just have a, a sample collection center so this is just a modification in your uh, legal entity and you can create this corporate structure so if you also want to build this kind of corporate structure and grow your clinical practice from a smaller clinic to a larger uh, clinical entity uh, please get in touch with me and i would be happy to help you and guide you on this so for similar insights uh, related to growing your clinical practice please subscribe to my channel it is a small effort for you but uh, the tutorials will definitely help you to grow your clinical practice 
so that's all for now if you have any questions or any suggestions any concerns please ask me in the comment section and i would be happy to help you that's all for now this is your coach dr nitin signing out